Thank you very much, Cahirlock. And I, I sorry, I was at another meeting and I had an oral question in the doll. Um, so can I just ask, what research has been undertaken by the Department or engagement of other countries has happened to see how other countries are legislating for international surrogacy? Now, I don't know if this has been asked, but the language um, in the AHR bill seems to be asking intending parents using a surrogate to prove the surrogacy is within the law set out by the bill. Has any thought been given to how this might work if it were to be applied in the international case? Or if there are any plans to reframe the language so that there is not an obligation to prove the surrogacy is uh, legitimate, but a, a guidance on what legitimate surrogacy actually is. By that, I mean not for profit and so on. Has any thought been given to what a comprehensive agreement might mean in an international context as, as in nobody would encourage for a profit surrogacy, but certainly should the surrogate mother be entitled to reasonable expenses, as this would be in the case of um, domestic uh, surrogacy. And just for the ombudsman, is that okay? Will I go ahead, Cahirlock, or is that okay? Um, no, well, um, no, just okay. Uh, Deputy, so we, we okay. have the, the three departments with us. Oh, that's okay, at the moment. separate. Okay, thank you. And apologies, I was late. Oh, thank you. So is there is there any department that you want to direct that to? Yeah, no, whichever I, I'm, you know, whichever there wants to take it, I'm, I'm happy enough, just really, just the information on it. Thank you. Is there, does anyone want to? Uh, I could start, Deputy. Uh, the question did come up earlier, and the Cahir look asks for a note on, on international examples, and we'll, we'll provide that. Um, in summary, um, we're not aware of any EU member state that has uh, uh, developed a legislative uh, solution to uh, the issue of international surrogacy. Uh, the, our own AHR bill, I would say, and the summary note, provides an overview of the safeguards that collectively we and the government have determined as necessary uh, to balance the rights of the child, to know their genetic origins, uh, the rights of parents uh, to be regarded as parents, uh, and the rights and safety of the, 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 the surrogates. Um, the, 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 the challenge we and other countries, other legislators have, have, have encountered is while we can bottom out and specify the safeguards and the rights that we seek to protect and that we move to protect in their own jurisdiction, um, it's hard to envisage uh, an agency, an Irish agency or a sub-agency, as, as, as was suggested earlier, uh, being, a, being in a position to provide the assurance as around the, the, the extent to which those rights and safeguards were um, adhere to uh, in, in, in another jurisdiction. Uh, you, you, you said it yourself, an international agreement, uh, perhaps building on international agreements in the area of adoption and so forth, uh, would be very helpful um, to, to the extent that they would emerge within the, within the EU. There is the conundrum that a lot of the destinations in which surrogacy is, is availed of are, are not within the EU. Uh, they're beyond the EU to the east, or they're in states in America, as as we're aware, as far as we're aware. But um, we will we, we we will provide a note, and we'll just see even beyond the law. Like I don't want to just close it off, so people have struggled to legislate beyond our own jurisdiction. But I think across the three departments, we will look at practices then for the returning um, uh, family uh, to see how 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 all those uh, objectives can be achieved. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Duff is also indicating, uh, so our deputy. So. Thank you, Chair. Uh, and just to come in on Mr. O'Connor's uh, point there on the international piece, uh, I, I think the special rapporteur has commented on, on this that uh, one of the challenges in, in that space is there isn't a, a consensus uh, across uh, borders or across countries. So uh, while the Hague Convention has worked very well on, on inter country uh, adoption, it's more challenging, again, in the surrogacy space where you don't have that consensus of, of how to approach uh, a surrogacy across uh, borders, which is, which is the real challenge in being able to uh, establish a, a convention or, or an international uh, agreement. 